advice would you give to any young people wishing to follow in your footsteps as a professional illustrator? The biggest piece of advice, and I always give this to anyone who gets in touch looking for advice, is to not compromise on you. Keep searching for and championing what's unique about you. So if there's something that you go away and do in the evenings, for example, put it out there. Don't, you know, be, put that into your work. You've got this unique, unique journey through life, as we all have. Unique character set, sense of humour, people you've met, places you've seen. Um, try to ignore trends because trends come and go all the time and you'll be lost with them if you, if you start to become a trend yourself. Try to find something that's truly you and I think that will connect with a large number of people. So for, I know I always say like find your inner weirdo, you know, <laughs> and, and, and it's a beautiful thing. You know, when I see like a really quirky original project, I kind of get envious that it wasn't me that came up with that. But you can't because that's theirs and you have to find you. So don't mimic and be unashamed about who you are and find a unique way of channel, you know, channeling that into whatever it is you do. It doesn't matter if you're a musician, a designer, an illustrator, but especially as an illustrator, it's a swamped market. There are so many good illustrators and it's very easy to look on portfolio websites and go, my God, I'm, I'm outnumbered by brilliant people, which we all are and we all feel that way. But just look at what makes the really successful people successful. They've found something that's unique and embodies their character. So retain that and hold dear to it. That's the biggest piece of advice I can give. Excellent. Thank you.